Assalamu alaikum. I am here with my second video that is about simultaneous linear equations. In the end of this video, you people will be able to solve the simultaneous linear equations by using two methods. The first is elimination method and the second is substitution method. Before going to understand simultaneous linear equation, first of all, we'll look at the linear equations. Linear equation is an equation in which the highest power of each variable is 1. For example, x plus y is equal to 2, 7y minus 3z plus 4 is equal to 6, l minus 2m is equal to 0. In all these three examples, you can see that each variable has highest power 1. Now, what are the simultaneous linear equations? Simultaneous linear equations are two or more equations with at least two variables which could be solved at the same time. Simultaneous linear equations are also known as system of equations or an equation system. Now we will discuss the method of solving the simultaneous linear equations. Case 1 we will discuss over here. We are given with two e equations. The first is 2x plus y which is equal to minus 5 and the second equation is 2x minus 5y which is equal to 13. First of all, what we'll do? What comes in your mind by elimination? Elimination means we'll eliminate or vanish one variable to get the value of the second variable. So what we'll do, if I look at the equations, we can see that x has the same coefficient. So it's easy for us to eliminate x by subtracting. So step one, we'll subtract one equation and two equation, right? We'll subtract two from one. After subtracting, we will get minus 2x plus 5y, which is equal to minus 13. And after solving it with 2x plus y is equal to minus 5, we'll get 6y, which is equal to minus 18. And after solving the equation, we'll get the value y is equal to minus 13. In step 3, what we'll do? We will substitute this value y is equal to minus 13 in any one of the given equation. I am substituting this value in 2x plus y, which is equal to minus 5. At the y, I have substituted the value that is minus 3 and after solving it, I'll get the value that is x is equal to minus 1. Now, in step 4, we will write the solution set. Solution set will be written in the form of uh, brackets, minus 1, the first value would be of x and the second value would be of y, minus 3. In last, you can check your answer as well. If you want to check your answer, is, is it correct or not, you will substitute these values in any one of the given equation. I am substituting it in 2x minus 5y which is equal to 13. If the value of x and y satisfy the given equation, it means our solution is correct. After substituting these values in the given equation 2x minus 5y is equal to 13, I can see that 13 is equal to 13 means the given values of x and y has satisfies the given equation. Now, what the second case is about when the coefficient any of the variable in the given equations are not same. In some cases, you will first need to multiply one or both of the equations by number so that one of the variable has same or opposite coefficients. Let's understand this with an example. Case two, question number two, solve by system of elimination method. The equation number one is given x plus two y, which is equal to 11. And the second equation is minus three x plus y, which is equal to minus five. We will multiply each term in the second equation by minus 2 to get the opposite y coefficient. So first step, we have multiplied the second equation with minus 2. Then it will become plus 6x minus 2y, which is equal to 10. After solving it with the first equation, we will get the value of x. In step 3, we will substitute this value in any one of the given equation. I have substituted this value x is equal to 3 in x plus 2y which is equal to 11. At the place of x, I have substituted the value 3. Then I will get the value of y which is equal to 4. In step 4, we will write the simple solution. That is the solution set. In brackets, you will write the first of all the value of x and then you will write the value of y that is 4. Now, it's time to remember the steps of elimination method. First step is write the system so that like terms are aligned. Step two, eliminate one of the variables and solve for the other variable. Step three, substitute the value of the variable into one of the original equation and solve for the other variable. Step four, write the answer from step two and three as an ordered pair and check. Second method of solving the simultaneous linear equation is substitution method. Here we have, we have an example. Equation number one is given x plus 3y, which is equal to 6, and second equation is given 2x plus 8y, which is equal to minus 12. Step one, 
we will isolate a variable in one of the equation, either x or y. I am isolating x here because it's easy for me to isolate it because it doesn't have any coefficient with it. So we will keep the x on the one side and we'll shift the rest of the amount on the other side. It will become x is equal to 6 minus 3y. Step 2. Substitute the value of isolated variable in the other equation and solve. At the place of x, I, I have substituted the value that is 6 minus 3y and after expanding and adding in like terms, I will get the value of y which is equal to minus 12. Step 3, we will substitute the value y which is equal to minus 12 in any one of the given equation. After solving that equation, we will get the value of x that is equal to 42. Now it's time to write down the solution of the equation. Solution of the equation would be 42 comma 12. 42 would be the value of x and minus 12 will be the value, would be the value of y. In the end you can check your answer as well by substituting these values in any one of the given equation. If the equation, these values satisfy the given equation, it means your answer is correct. Steps to remember for substitution method. Step 1. Isolate a variable in one of the equation. Choose the variable that has coefficient of 1 or minus 1 if possible to avoid the fractions. Step 2. Substitute the value of isolated variable in other equation and solve. Step 3. Substitute the solved value from step 2 into either equation and solve for the other variable. Step 4. Write the answers from step 2 and 3 as an ordered pair x, y and z. Here are some questions with answers. You people can practice that to strengthen your concept about the simultaneous linear equation. Thank you.